Insta-Size YouTube family. I am here with the wonderful Diana Torres. Hello. Round of applause! Round of applause! Woo! Yeah. <laughs> Tell our viewers a little bit about yourself. I am a local makeup and uh, hairstylist here in the Salt Lake Valley. She's amazing. She's absolutely <laughs> amazing. We actually met Diana on a shoot with Epsilon Dresses. So I don't know if you guys remember, this was like a week, maybe two weeks ago. Uh, we went downtown and shot some really prom dresses, did a bunch of behind the scenes. Miss Diana over here was the makeup and hair artist for the show and we basically fell in love. And here we are today. It's love at first sight. <laughs> um, what are you going to do for us today? What are you going to show so us? So today I'm going to show you guys three different kinds of braids. They're actually very popular right now. We see a lot of the Kardashians um, wearing them. Give me those really thick Dutch braids. Dutch braids. Dutch braids. Or people um, know them by the reverse French braid. So we're going to show you guys how to do that. We're also going to give you guys some styling tips to how to dress up a normal braid. So how to, you know, make it more fun for spring. So what's the last braid we're doing? So we're doing the crown the braid. Crown. That is also something very popular right now. Dress it up as in for like something classy. A lot of brides are doing it. And prom. And prom. So it's really fun. You can always um, kind of just use your imagination. Enjoy the rest of this tutorial. If you guys have any questions, leave us a comment in the comment box. Either Diane or I will get back to you guys. So enjoy. I think when it comes to parting, um, I like to kind of go with obviously however you like your face to be framed. A lot of people are very particular about the frame of their face, um, the hair falls. So for example, you have a more heaviness um, hair on this side. Mm -hmm. So I kind of try to create the parting with it going that way and then just kind of, you know, line it up more straight here in the back. Just whatever feels more natural to your to your face. I'm going to start up here and you I like to kind of create that three three little strands. So what happens is normally when you do a braid, you go on top like this, kind of crisscrossing. Well, with the Dutch braid or the reverse French braid, you go underneath. So you would start with one strand and go underneath crisscrossing like this. So now you go ahead and grab a strand. Um, a lot of people will like to like, you know, bring a little bit of these little hairs out just again to create structure to your face a lot of people have hard, a hard time with braids because it falls apart i use my thumb to create pressure so this other one won't fall that way it gives me this free hand to be able to grab underneath strand and tuck it under Make sure that you are, as you are grabbing the hair, you're kind of going with the shape of the head so you won't have any of those weird folds. Go with the flow. If you want it to be thinner, obviously grab thinner sections.
This is very like bohemian, like a Coachella look. So would you say this last look is more of like an everyday? If you are kind of tired of just having your hair just down with like nothing going on. This is just a little fun little add-on to your like hair. I'm doing again the reverse. So I would just grab a strand like this. Go ahead and braid it. So, thank you so much for coming into the of studio. Course, Did of you have course. a fun time? Super fun time. When it comes to editing all of your makeup and hair looks, what app do you use? Insta Size for it's everyday editing. Insta Size. Like I said, guys, make sure you give us a thumbs up. Go check out Diana's page. Give her some love on the IG. And thank you all so much for tuning in. We'll see you next week when we do our next uh, video. Bye, everyone. <laughs>